when I first came into the room, it was fun seeing everybody, it just kind of getting all social and talkative and and just everyone was happy to see each other. It was it was cool. Uh, it's always fun to have like idol reunions. Walking in and seeing everybody is it's so funny because it's like you see the shy ones, you know, that are kind of keep to themselves, and then you see like Blake who walks in and does like cartwheels. Well, I walked into the room late, um, and I felt really bad. I'm sorry. You weren't as late as I was actually, so I felt worse than you did. All right, we were yeah. the rebels today. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's what I mean. We were kind of rebellious on the show, so yeah. I mean, it fits our characters. For me, the most exciting thing was, you know, there's this little part of me that was like, oh, I'm gonna be the only person there. What is this even happening? And then you walk in, and it's amazing, and yeah. everybody's here. It's so cool. At first, I really liked season two, and I thought it was it was nice to the new judges are great, and um, I think they're a little nice, um, but. I, I do I do like that it's a little bit different. I feel like they've really focused this year on really developing um, the hopefuls and the contestants into uh, into artists. Yeah, they uh, really directed them a lot this year and, yeah. and gave uh, like hundred million dollars to the production or something. Something. I mean, dude. like yeah. <laughs> fireworks and yeah. you know There's, pyro, yeah, pyro and, everywhere. Yeah. They did have more focus on the voice and stuff and kind of more positive spin on things and the auditions and I, th I thought that was good. I mean everyone says that Idol is like a boot camp and that's exactly what it is. It gets you ready for, for photo shoots like this, for uh, you know getting in a studio, for performing live. The show definitely was kind of like training for what was to come ahead even though you didn't know it was going to come. <laughs> it just kind of prepared you for all the things, all the interviews and just always being um, in a certain place always being on. When I was on Idol I had no idea it would become a phenomenon and so I don't think I was as focused as I would have been if I knew it would be American Idol and that it would be attached to my name probably for the rest of my life. Elliot, what are you working on now? Well, uh, to be honest Blake, no. um, I'm just finishing up my album, my third studio album and, and uh, I just recently released a, a version of this album in Japan and went, went and toured over there. It's dope. Uh, I have it. Right now, I just released a, a record on Vanguard Capital Records just like two weeks ago. It's called Without Regret. Um, available now. Did I say that? And uh, also, I'm the new host for VH1's Rock and Roll Fantasy Camp. Things I've been working on, I've been doing a lot of writing, actually, and just kind of um, trying to find uh, that kind of sound that I feel like I haven't really gotten a chance to have time to figure out yet. I am uh, I'm working on a new album right now and I'm really excited about it just writing and stuff so hopefully it'll come out this year and uh, also I wrote a song for the last album that Matthew Morrison put on his last out or his new album so um, and they're gonna put it on the Glee finale so pretty stoked about that it's nice to be on this side of things that's nice to be on the writer side of things and see that happen so it's cool. Um, I'm writing finally you know taking my time chilling I'm definitely doing the opposite sound of what the first record was. So this is a totally just darker, bluesier. I think if um, Nine Inch Nails and Lauren Hill were in bed together, that's what my music would end up sounding like. So it's really just sexy, different. Finally, just I feel really proud of what I've done writing, and I can't wait to show you guys. <laughs>